Okay, so today we're going to tackle uh, this animation right here. It's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, we're going to be using Eevee as our um, render engine, so set up for that. Um, so first thing we're going to do is go to our mesh plane, and we're going to hit S8 to scale it up. And I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode, and we're going to subdivide it 100 times. Get up to that, and then up here, again, make sure your render engine is on Eevee. And then let's go back. We're going to add a subdivision surface and a displace modifier. On your strength, we're going to put 0 0.1. And we're going to click a new texture, and we're going to put we're going to put in marble. So right now, this is really um, rough. So we're going to put the turbulence all the way down, and then our depth. Actually, no, it's depth that needs to go all the way down, and we can mess with this turbulence because the depth makes it look kind of like a rock um, but we don't want that so put your depth all the way down and then we're gonna put our scale pretty far down all the way to two um, and then hit tab twice to edit it until they fix that that uh, kink in the system you have to hit tab to update the displacement um, so for the animation we're gonna add two things we're gonna go to the curves add a circle and then we're also gonna add an empty plane axis. So select your empty and go to the constraints, add a constraint, and over here click follow path and click the circle. So go to end right here, click it and hit 120. That's going to be 120 frames on our animation. And then in your user preferences, make sure. Uh, get it up here. Make sure that in your editing that your keyframe interpolation is on linear. That'll make it a seamless loop. So over here in your constraint, right here on offset, offset yeah. Um, insert keyframe, go to the very end, hit the right arrow and click 121. Or just, you're not clicking anything, you just go, go to right. And then hit 100 on the offset and insert keyframe. And so that is just going to go, that's just going to make it go in a nice circle, which is allowing the displacement to go in a loop. So let's do that next. Click on your plane, go to the displacement, and then right here on displace, instead of local, click um, object. And then in the objects, pick your empty. And then that is going to animate it like this for now. So I'm going to put my um, subdivision view at zero just so we can sort of watch the animation in real time so if you want if it's not really doing the animation you want at the moment you can click your circle hit R twice and just sort of play with it and kind of move it around until you like um, what it's doing so I'm gonna put it right about here and then you can go back into your texture and you can edit the size and just do whatever you want I'm gonna leave it at the biggest size for now so we're going to add a camera and then in your camera settings instead of perspective give it orthographic and then we're going to hit control alt zero and yeah so right now it's too big i'm going to go back into my uh texture on the displacement and we're going to change the size here so we need to add one more modifier. We'll put our view on our subdivision back to one. It's still kind of, um, we could put smooth shading on it, but it's still a bit much. And we want to use as few vertices as possible. So we're going to add a smoothing modifier and then on repeat, just bring it down a little bit. And then what that's going to allow us to do whenever we render it, it's going to look like that and it's going to be nice and smooth and it's a good render. Um, and we're not using quite as many vertices as possible because our smoothing is allowing us to do that. All right, so we have a good animation. Now we need to light the scene. So go to your render view, and I'm going to go into a light, and I'm going to add a point light. And we're going to add a bunch of these. So just sort of bring them around. I'm going to kill Bloom for now. And just bring them around your scene um, until you like how well lit it is. We're using point lights because we're going to be using more than one color in, um, in our render.
So let's go back to the point lights and just change the colors to red and to blue. Or, you know, whatever color you want to pick for your design. Okay, so this is good for now. I'm going to add a texture. It's going to be a dark uh, black. It's going to be a glossy dark black for our design. It's gray at the moment. Bring it all the way down. And so let's add a couple more lights to this scene. Sort of fill it out. And we should be good. Okay, so now we have this animation that we're working with. Um, this is basically the final product. Um, you can go in and add some more speed. I would add a little bit more speed to this. This is kind of boring. Um, but this is the overall concept for the design and the animation. And you can go in and mess with the, um, the rotation here, messing with the just the speed and the lighting and just having fun with it. And for the export settings, um, I'll show you what I use for that. Um, I will use FFmpeg video. And then in your encoding, which is super important, put it on MP4 and keep your video format at H.264 in medium quality. And that's going to get you um, good export settings. And it's not going to be uh, overload your computer in any kind of compression or anything like that. So, yeah, this is basically the design. Um, have fun with it. I hope you learned something. And, yeah, thanks for watching.